Hey guys, I'm currently in Bolivia, as you can see, on an amazing motorcycle adventure. Let me first apologize uh, if you've seen like videos from Texas, Mexico, Hawaii, just crazy random places. I'm trying to organize everything so that I can do something more chronological, but it hasn't quite worked out that way. Appreciate your patience, but I'm gonna get it to that point so that you can follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and everything will be the same. So to start off this quick video series, it's gonna be all about South America. I bought a motorcycle in Argentina and Buenos Aires. I drove her through Uruguay, Brazil, Paraguay, Peru, Chile, Argentina, Bolivia. So that's what this entire video series is gonna be about. I'll warn you, the first few videos are a little rough. There are a lot of motorcycle camera stuff because there really wasn't much else to film. They do get better and it's gonna be more lifestyle, motorcycle stuff, some helmet cam stuff. So it's gonna be a combination and a mix of everything. And thank you so much for sticking around and I really hope you enjoy these next videos. Get ready for an awesome adventure and we're gonna cut in straight into the first video. All right, so if you ever wonder what uh, exchanging money in the black market looks like, uh, this is it. <laughs> there's, there's literally guys on the street here just doing it in the middle of the, middle of the street, which is hilarious. Hey everyone, my name's Alex. I'm an ex-medical student who sold all his belongings in 2012 to travel around the world. 50 countries and the adventure continues. So I'm going to give you a very quick tour of the motorcycle so you can see how heavily packed it is because I hate packing so much stuff but the reality is that if I want to carry a drone, if I want to carry a laptop, if I want to carry clothes, if I want to carry a sufficient amount of water, it does take a lot. Our wonderful tank bag that houses all my electronics, my camera, we have my phone that's connected to a USB charging the entire time, got the helmet, I got my drone. This is the only bag for a drone and it takes up a massive amount of space on the bike which sucks. All my clothes and everything I need for the evening. I got my jacket I wear at all times. I got my tent. I have all my heated gear, rain gear, uh, tools in the very bottom, spare parts. I got up here a bunch of random miscellaneous things. And remember, if you guys haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channels, please. This box has my laptop and it has some uh, camera lenses and so forth. It has all my food and water over here. I got spare oil on the other side, I got water here, I got food there. That was a very quick tour of my bike. And yes, it's very, very heavy. I have a very long drive today. I have to drive as far as, uh, as humanly possible today. Be in Chile in 15 days. So that's very far. So if you look at a map, that's actually, I gotta cross the entire continent of South America in 15 days. Only so I can go to India again. So for everybody watching that is from India, I'm coming. I'm coming to Bangalore. If you're in Bangalore, check out my Instagram. I will put up a post of where to meet me because I'm gonna have another meet up there. So definitely one of the coolest things in Paraguay is that at toll roads, uh, motorcyclers don't pay. Yeah. Come to the side here and drive on through. So, good job Paraguay. Thank you so much for saving me some money. <laughs> There's a guy in the middle of the road taking pictures of trucks. I guess that's uh, customs. So dusty, why? Can't breathe, must get fresh air. Yes. Here's the thing, the police really doesn't care <laughs> how much they mess up traffic, because look at that. We got some bad news. The attachment for the GoPro actually broke off. I don't know why, but it fell in the middle of traffic. And unfortunately, a few semi trucks ran over it, which sucks. All right, so the damage report is the following, is that literally the connections have been run over and messed up. The GoPro is broken, look at that. Luckily, the glass for some reason survived, so that's good. The back's all screwed up though. Out there is completely crushed, look at that. Oh man, that sucks so bad. I hope, uh, I hope it still works. Anyway, this got ran over by a few semi trucks, which is, uh, it look, doesn't look terrible for that, but. Oh no, it broke. All right, it's screwed because look at that. That adapter is, uh, is gone. It's gonna suck to try to replace. Uh, a tough day for me, huh? Gonna get back on the road here and get to where I need to get to. Oh, that's so sad. It sucks so bad. Uh, I this, but look at the bikes on the right hand side. Uh, what are they selling? Melon! Look at that! Melon! Well, if you want some cheese on the side of the road here in Paraguay, uh, this is the place to get it. 10000 that's uh, like $2 for cheese. Now, the only problem is that you don't know how long the cheese has kind of been laying in the sun, so... <laughs> Eat the cheese at your own risk. I just finished gassing up, and uh, 642000 
Guarani, which seems like a lot, but it's only about 15 US dollars. What I love about gas stations uh, around the world is that I have these boxes, I have my website, I have my Instagram, I have everything. And uh, what people do is they usually see me and they start following me immediately, especially the people in the gas station. I heard a song and I said, that song sounds so familiar. And this gentleman behind me was actually checking out, uh, checking out my channel, which is really cool. To be able to connect with people in that way. Wait, I am sweating, it's hot, it's miserable. Ugh. And I got so far to go, check it out. My GPS, I mean, look at this. I had to drive basically the entire, the entire distance of Paraguay, which is pretty massive to Kalama, Chile, which is right over here for my flight to India. That's where it's at. On the road, you get all the fumes, you get all the gases from the cars, and I've been overtaking people on the right-hand side uh, just because I just can't stand to be behind them. It hurts your eyes, and if I go like this, you actually see a bunch of black stuff on my face because it's just all the contamination from these trucks. They're already burning up, so I'm gonna get going, and uh, I'll see you at the next pit stop. Alright, so fun fact, uh, I love Pringles and I can always tell how expensive a country is by the cost of Pringles all around the world. Argentina is like five US dollars, in the United States it's like a dollar fifty. Uh, it really varies all over the place. It's my little treat today. I gotta say, I'm really proud of the bike, it's been holding up really well. I love the KLR, it's got such a cool look to it. I love what I did with the windshield. I don't know, I might, I might keep it, I might keep it in South America, huh? Yeah, that was nasty. I've already drank seven liters of water today since 9 a.m. That's how hot it is, it's pretty bad. All right, I'm gonna go. So I found this shopping center, I parked the bike, and I'm gonna go have some lunch in there, which is gonna be really exciting. As you see, everybody loves looking at the bike. <clears throat> so if you're asking yourself what's on the menu today, we have chicken kebab with vegetables, ketchup, and some garlic sauce. I know every time I show the map, it gives you a certain amount of kilometers, gives you a time frame. The unfortunate part is that on the motorcycle, it takes a lot longer. It takes stopping twice as much and getting food and water, hydration, stretching. So this is actually 11 more hours, which I'm not gonna make today. I drank about 12 liters of water today. It's absolutely killing me. The struggle is real. Think it over how difficult this is. Being normal would be fine if I had air conditioner, but the fact is I just cannot cool down. I'm just like, I smell horrible. That's all I know. The struggle of uh, riding around the world, right? This song sucks. <laughs> I guess this would be a really smart today. Me. And I have a wonderful little treat, which is a uh, frozen dessert. No. Oh. And there's air conditioning in here, so it's so nice to finally cool down for once. <sighs> I must have gone to the bathroom today at least nine times since I've been drinking so much water. <laughs> uh, it's been pretty rough. So today on the menu for dinner, we have mustard chicken, uh, pumpkin fritter, and we have salad. Oh, and we have natural peach juice, which I haven't found very often in this world. It's such a long day. Trying to drive this amount of distance in such a short time is crazy. It's just too much. In this weather, it's just way too much. Anyways, I'm gonna eat and uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna be driving some of the most remote parts of Paraguay and some of the most remote parts of Bolivia in the next uh, week and a half. I decided to come back to a big city and uh, I came to this store over here. I've looked around for about two hours in this town and I finally found it. So I finally found the stupid adapter you need for the uh, for this stupid GoPro. 